What's going on guys, it's Wayne here. Today we'll be taking a look at Supply Chain's comprehensive personal finance template. Um, now, I know this is going to be uh, a lot. There's numerous tabs, but um, I'll try my best to explain each tab and how it connects to the final dashboard. So let's start off with transactions. I've color coded these so we can kind of see which tabs affect which tabs. So the transactions will affect the pivots and the monthly expenses. The, and the monthly net worth will affect the net worth charts and net worth forecast. So starting with um, 2017 transactions, it looks like there's some um, some fake transactions here, but let's just say we added some for October. So we actually copy and paste this here and change this to October, October if I can spell. So we see that this actually gets stamped um, automatically based off of today's date. And this actually gets uh, inputted depending on if this is an income or an expense. If it's an income, then this will be positive. If it's an expense, this will be negative. So these two columns, we don't need to worry about. We can add any notes in here, like first paycheck or whatever we want in the memo field. Um, now that we've added not only September's but October's, we can go into the pivots income statement and we see that this hasn't been updated yet. This only has September's, right? 300, 105, 800, and 200. So it's um, all these expenses, 300, 1500, or not 1500, but that would be part of here, wages and salary. We could see that if we open this up click the plus we see that 93 we had a paycheck for 1500 now that's the 93 1500 dollar paycheck but we also want to add the 1028 1500 dollar paycheck now so all we have to do is click the refresh button and if we click the plus it automatically gets added and it tallies now this also gets added automatically. So we see not only did we pay the car loan on 9-3, but we also paid the car loan to, on 10-28, today's date, which is what we just added here. So this can really help keep track of how we're doing, um, not only from a yearly basis, but if we actually take a look at here, we can look at only October if we really want. Um, keep in mind that the month here will not change because we're filtering only for expenses it won't change the income portion however what we can do is we can create a timeline or a slicer based off of the months and then we can link it to both pivot tables so then we can actually see I only want to look at October then both will be changed um, I'm gonna link um, to the video where I explain how to do that up on the top right and also in the show notes. So so we're back to all on and we know that this is the year to date net income 3028.10 with a net income of 190. Let's move on to the monthly expenses. We see that this gets added. It's the same exact since we copied and pasted it. And this just presents it in a nice uh, chart. And this is just a visual from this chart. We also have the net worth. I know there's a lot of different numbers in here. Um, we can pretty much add whatever we want. So let's actually change this here since it's past 10.1. Um, on 10.1, this is the current net worth. So say we had a little bit more cash on hand 
um, our assets kind of went up a little bit taxable brokerage maybe 200 stayed the same 401k went up and the IRA maybe stayed the same so it's a slight increase um, this is all just theoretical so just bear with me essentially what we want to do is we want to keep it until 1 1 2018 or 12 1 2017 so this actually the the template will pull the top 12 months here so as long as we fill this up to 12 1 or 1 1 it'll make sense in the network charts and forecasts and also finally the dashboard so we see the total assets here total liabilities we can add whatever we want maybe we incurred a little bit of credit card debt so 300 bucks and we see that it automatically gets tallied here into our total net worth so let's move on to the network charts now we see that it's changed and it's added the 10 1 portion and we see it displayed here now this is the most recent date which is just pulling the largest uh, date here and we see that we have a total liability of $300 which is the $300 from credit card number one now we can edit this to say whatever we want we can make it like chase credit card or something chase uh, I don't know freedom chase freedom so we have a $4,500 net worth um, starting in October of this year and we see that it's displayed in a very nice chart and also graphically here and let's take a look we see this is the 401k which is 1500 the largest chunks so this is the IRA IRA 11 this is checking or cash which is right here and then this is the debt, the $300. So it actually subtracts it from the net worth, which is this will be 4800 But then we remove 300 So we actually see visually how much debt we have compared to all of our assets. Uh, and this, it's, it's in red. Over here, we see an assets breakdown. So we can see what percentage of our um, assets are in what bucket. So we see 31% of our assets are in cash uh, or checking. Same with the 401k. Miscellaneous assets, which is stuff that we put in under here. Miscellaneous. 23 in IRA, etc., etc. And it's the same color as here. So if you actually just took this, if this was 100% and moved it into a part pie chart then this is what we would get so let's move on to net worth forecast it actually looks like this changed because we added the 10 1 um, we can actually see there's no growth here because we didn't put any for uh, 12 1 2016 so it's returning a uh, an error but every other month we can see the growth we can see how the net worth has been increasing and uh, we can also add some FI information here, uh, financial independence. So say we had the end of the year goal of $2,000 um, net worth. We have a total goal of 400000 So at a 4% burn rate, that'll be about sixteen grand a year. Um, F rather our eagle of 800 so that'll be 32,000 a year so at this rate of 5500 savings uh, annually with the six percent return and a current net worth now this gets pulled from here the most recent net worth we'll need about 27 years until we reach this goal and 39 years until we reach this goal and it also automatically calculates our savings rate here And last but not least, we have the dashboard, and we automatically see that 
um, our October income and expenses have been added automatically. Same with this net worth breakdown is exactly what we saw from the net worth charts. We also see the net income here. I know this looks a little weird, but um, it actually does not take into consideration some of the expenses. So it doesn't take in, into account um, what we bought as an investment and the FI information gets put here. Thanks guys.